hit so much pan. I have fallen in love with this Thrive bronzer. Feel and look so much younger. Look how fluffy that looks. Hey guys, so today's video I'm just doing a natural get ready with me. I've found a few like tips over the last like six months because I just, I can't be asked to do the full get up very much these days. Not going out anywhere, I'm just kind of popping to the shops and things like that. No foundation, just a little bit of concealer, powder, blush, just to enhance your natural beauty. And while we're blending this out, I just want to air some of my frustrations from over the past months <laughs> to do with influencers. So let's get into this. So the first thing I do is I prime my face. So I only use something just really quick. So I've been using this Barium all night long primer stick got like hairs and stuff on it. It fills in the pores, so just kind of roll this over my T-zone, especially where I get the most pores. Just kind of rub that in. Next I will put on a long lasting setting spray. I've been doing this for a while anyway, because I feel like this one actually is great underneath makeup for kind of like semi hydrating, but long lasting your makeup. Put this underneath makeup as well as over the top and Robert Welsh also says because your oils come out through the pores, priming your skin even like with setting spray is actually the best way. Your foundation or anything on your base gets broken down from underneath your makeup not on top. So that's right. <laughs> then I have my Catrice concealer. This is one of my favourite like no makeup day concealers. I used to use LA Girl concealer because you could just squeeze it out and put it all over your face, but these are now my new favorites. I use 10 porcelain for my face and 05 for under the eye. To get me even more coverage, I'm going to dot the more skin tone one on and let it start to set a little bit because then you get the best coverage. You have these spots. I've got so many spots at the moment. I'm eating so healthy now as well. This week, I've put like a diet plan in place. I've cut out sugar except for natural sugars. If I want something sweet, just having fruit. I did have a was really craving cookies. As I'd been good all week, I allowed myself an oatmeal and chocolate chip like biscuit because I had those in the cupboard. So I don't understand why I've got breakouts. I had this one for like a month. I'm just gonna put the lighter one on the inner part and the outer part. I'm actually gonna blend out my concealer under my eyes first and I'm going to use a fluffy like crease brush. I have loads of these so I'm not that worried that this is kind of stained now <laughs> with concealer. Um, this is a wet and wild crease brush. You can get them Beauty Bay if you're in the UK. You can get them all over the place in the US. Any kind of crease brush. It doesn't have to be this one. It's just this is an affordable one. I have loads of them so I just kind of cooling motions. Windscreen wiper and then just flick it down and then pat. Whatever excess I have, I just put a little bit of that over my eyelid. I don't like to show too much of the veins and stuff. And then I'm just gonna blend. Some concealers dry down really, really fast. Just be aware of how long you can leave your concealer for. Definitely work from the inside out. There was something else Robert Welsh said where that I forgot to mention in my dedicated video. If you have the most pigmentation here, work with from here outwards if you want a more natural look. If you've got really beautiful, clear skin, fade your foundation into your natural skin. You don't, you don't have to cover it all the way over. I'm just gonna make sure I don't have any creases. I still get creases, but they're way less severe using this method because using a little bit of concealer on the inner and outer means you're only bringing the excess underneath your eye. Again, something I learned from Robert Welsh was the more that's underneath your eye, the more weight is on your thinness of that skin, which is pulling it down, which creates the crease. Light, white, like light amount of concealer. I mean, I feel like that's decently covered. You can probably still see a couple of blemishes. Forgot to mention this using a crease brush trick. I kind of got from Royal Beauty Christie. Last year she did a video on celebrity makeup, like the holiday, from the holiday. She used a crease brush to do her foundation so it made her look flawless with the smallest amount of product. And I actually just use that on a day-to-day -day basis. My skin still doesn't look absolutely perfect. You can still see some 
discoloration but that's normal that's natural i've covered the most of the pigmentation i was like that made me a little bit insecure and i'm like absolutely fine and happy with this like, it has evened me out and that's exactly what i wanted so next i have my tried and true this is like the only under eye powder i use I could use this all over my face but i'm just going to give you like an alternative really smoothing kind of light powder foundation so you can just kind of pop all over and be done this is my no filter pressed setting powder i got this in the shade fair i can't believe i originally got this as a pressed powder foundation and i use it non-stop now for underneath my eyes because it is so freaking smoothing. I'm gonna make sure I have no creases because I have just a little bit. Go in just with a light amount of powder because again you don't want to put too much product under because if you do it will just crease. Also just gonna set my lid. Next is powder foundation. I've actually been using a lot. This is literally so broken. The Maybelline Matte Maker and also the Wet n Wild uh, pressed powder. I have hit so much pan. This is really really smoothing pretty powder foundation. It's just That all over So because I have oily skin I kind of go a little bit ham on this you don't really need to I know this seems excessive but if you feel like you still have like a few pores, you can go in with like a loose powder, like a, a powder that fills in pores. You can get pressed ones as well, like the uh, It Bye Bye Under Eye, the uh, KVDV and Beauty Blossing Powder is meant to be really good. I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of my Thrive Cosmetics powder, which I know seems excessive. You can completely skip this step. This is just something that I prefer to do. I don't do it all the time. Next is my bronzer. I have fallen in love with this Thrive bronzer. The Thrive Blur and Sculpt Br oh, Bronzing Powder and Raya. I tested this last year. There's only a few Thrive products that I use regularly. So many other bronzers that I gravitate towards before this one. Really, really enjoy this one. Like I've been testing out Hourglass products and I still prefer this one. So pretty. Like it's just a nice, warm bronzer. While I'm putting this on, one of the things that's been really frustrating me throughout the whole pandemic situation are influencers, whether they're TikTok, Instagrammers or YouTubers, I really don't care. I know it's mostly in LA, don't get me wrong, told to social distance and they're just constantly going out with no masks to these like parties with like over 200 people in. So frustrating to me, like that's exactly why we're still having to go through lockdowns or quarantines and things like that. And they have the gall to do that bullshit notes apology or even terrible apology videos that keep coming out. Really? Like, really? No one believes you, especially the Tanner one. Like, stop coming out with the same apology six times in a row and then doing exactly the same things. Next I'm going to contour. <laughs> I've been using the Kevin Aquan uh, contour powder. It's a really nice ashy colour. I use tons of contour powders. I'm not saying you have to use this one. This is really expensive. But there are tons of contour powders or even contour sticks you can use. This is just the way I use them. I'm just going to dip in. I go here because I don't have a defined cheek. And then I also don't have a defined jaw. So I actually go up and around here and then down here to give me more of a jawline. To be honest, you could probably just skip the bronzer if you wanted to. I just like to warm up my face a little and I've been loving that rare bronzer. I just go in and just blend using my powder brush. Make sure I don't have any harsh lines. Next is highlighters. I will only use one of these, I'm just showing you what I tend to use. The e.l.f. stick. After I did that frozen makeup tutorial, oh my god, I love this shade. So pretty. Kind of subtle but really, really gorgeous. I'm gonna use this one today because I've never used this one on camera. This Wet n Wild, I'm using a decent amount of Wet n Wild today. Like a glow highlighting powder is so freaking pretty. I didn't used to like pink highlighters myself into this one and it goes so well with the blush I'm gonna use. Pop this on. I'm gonna drop something in a second. I bring that through my eyebrow. I'm doing like the Katie, Hol Katie Hodges trick. It also makes sure I highlight my brow bone because I almost always forget. So, so pretty. And then 
I go down my nose a little bit and I give myself a little bit of a button nose because I like my nose. I know you shouldn't really do the length if you do like a dot in the middle, but what I like to do now. The thing that brings this all together and makes me feel and look so much younger is the Eloise blush. I talked about this recently in my Eloise review. This liquid blusher. Oh my god, Kathleen Lights, you need to like try this. You will love it. It's so freaking dewy and beautiful. I'd never had or tried a liquid dewy blush. Like liquid blushes normally for me are just like, ugh, I'd rather just use a powder. And don't get me wrong, there are still days where I'm just like, I can't be asked with a, a liquid blush or any cream products because the problem with cream products is that I have to end up powdering over the top because otherwise they won't last all day. This lasts all day. This even lasted through me having a mask on it. It is amazing. I don't love the applicator. The applicator is a bit like a liquid, long liquid lipstick. Just put that on my hand. I'm not saying you can't use other blushes. This is just the products I've been enjoying recently. And I know I've already set my face. This blush goes over it so beautifully. If you were to go straight in, which I might show you as like a comparison, with the applicator rather than go on your hand and then onto your face, it also brings it slightly into my hairline for a nice like blushy look. <laughs> I have so much blush on this applicator. I'm gonna put like a couple of dots. Do it this way, you definitely get more dewiness. You can already tell. We'll say I've probably taken that down a little low. I'm just going to clean up ever so slightly with a little light bit of powder. I also like to just clean up that part in between my nose and my cheek. That's with any blush. I do this exact same trick. Just so it looks more polished. Then I'm going to set, set my face with exactly the same setting spray. I forgot I had a candle back there. So for brows... I use a couple of things. I use my favourite pencil, like just use any pencil you enjoy. Brush through them. Firstly, I always shave off the tail of my brow now. My my tail naturally go curves downwards down here. Whereas if I bring my brow outwards more a little bit, it shapes my face more to make my face look more slender. You're just play with your brow shape sometimes. It, like, you don't have to shave off the tail like I have. But just be aware that playing with your brow shape can really change the shape of your face. You end up finding stuff you really like. I'm gonna fill in my brows. I always start from the bottom, kind of flick it upwards. I don't think I use a great technique to be honest, because majority of the time I'm like, yeah, that'll do. I'm gonna use light strokes. Majority of the time I'm doing this way, and I should probably be doing that way to create hairs. Because when I do, I'm just like, oh yeah. That looks way better. It's way more natural. Oh, you kind of do need to draw it on upwards. Create those brow hairs and bring it a little bit further in. Just blend it with my spoolie. Let me do the same to the other side and then I'll show you my next two tricks for fluffy looking brows. These two things have been a godsend over the last like week. I've been testing out this sleek nano brow disc fill and define. I got mine in dark brown. It is one of those pizza cutter wheel things. I first used this, this kind of applicator for eyeliners and everyone hated them. But for brows, it really creates brow hairs. So it's the same kind of flick. I really struggle with the pencil. I always wonder how people get them look, looking so fluffy with just a brow pencil. Then this NYX, I still haven't taken all the packaging off because I'm a savage. The Bear With Me Hemp Brow Setter is very similar, I'll be honest, to the Colourpop like, clear brow gel because it's like a small applicator with a white kind of consistency that makes your brows look really thin thick and fluffy. Have my brows ever looked so thick and fluffy before? I normally highlight them with, with a tinted brow gel and that still does work. I still love that easy trick. 
but I'm just saying this makes my brows look so freaking fluffy. Look how fluffy that looks. Lastly is lipstick. I tend to use a liquid lipstick nowadays because obviously wearing masks all the time, mask on and off. If you wear a stick lipstick or a lip gloss, obviously it's all going to just come off. Um, but this Uoma lipstick is so freaking pretty and it has a magnetic packaging. But this e.l.f. Uh, sheer matte liquid stick colour in praline, I want to say. Praline petal. It's like Lolita, but more like a blotted lip. It's so freaking pretty. If you want something that's not a nude, that's more like your lips but slightly better, this is gorgeous. It has that same teardrop applicator that I love. And once you let it dry down, it feels just like powder on the lips. It's so comfortable. You could definitely put mascara on. Recently I've just been curling my lashes. Just to make sure they're sticking upwards. That is my everyday natural makeup look. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. If there's any like neat little tips and tricks that you learned along the way, I hope they help. If there is any specific makeup looks you guys want me to do, please let me know in a comment down below. I will try to do those because I'm not a makeup artist, so if I can do them, you can probably definitely do them. Subscribe if you feel like it, I would really, really appreciate it. We're back to posting twice a week and I am so fucking proud of that. I haven't been posting twice a week majority of this year, but I'm really, really proud of the content I'm creating and I think you guys are really, really enjoying it. So. I hope you subscribe and I hope to see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.